Hi everyone, and welcome to this series of uh, electrical E1 circuit PAO exam uh, problems. Uh, this is a transient question, and this is from the exam of May 2019. So, in this question, it says that a switch was originally closed at position A, so it will be short circuiting this 5 ohm uh, resistance. And then it will go to position B means the switch will be open after or at T equal to uh, zero. At this moment, you want to find VC, DVC, IC, VC, uh, sorry, uh, IC at zero plus, which is the voltage and the current across the capacitor. And then the voltage as T goes to uh, infinity. Also, we want to find VC as a function of time. What is this? VC of T. So, uh, typical transient first order circuit, we use the step by step method. So, we start with T less than zero. At T less than zero, of course, the assumption is always that that after for a long time, so it means that the capacitor is fully charged. So, basically, the circuit will be the supply here. This is our 15 volt in series with the 5 ohm uh, resistance now this is a short circuit now this is 5 ohm and we have our basically our vc at zero minus mean just before we uh, change the switch position okay now this will be an open circuit because it's fully fully charged now it means that the current ic here is equal to zero there's no current going here so it means that this current i from the supply is the same as this current it means that the 5 ohm and the 5 ohm they are in basically in series and the voltage across the capacitor is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistance so if we apply voltage division voltage division then we can find directly the voltage across vc so vc at zero is equal to the 15 volt the supply times this 5 ohm resistance divided by the summation of these two resistors in series the 5 plus the 5 and this will give me 7.5 volt now this is exactly the same voltage at zero plus so we cover this point at zero plus the voltage doesn't change the capacitor tend to hold the voltage so the moment you close you open the switch or you close the switch doesn't really matter the voltage before and just at that moment is exactly the, the same now we need to solve at t equal to zero now at t equal to zero the switch is open so now this 5 ohm will appear in the circuit now in series with this 5 ohm in series with this 15 volt and this is your basically your 5 ohm now the capacitor will be modeled as a voltage supply its value is the same as vc of zero plus which is basically 7.5 volt now we need to find dvc and ic now we know that ic is equal to c dvc by dt so if we find uh, ic we can find dvc so this is your ic at zero plus okay so it's very simple this is let's say called node one we have a current coming from the supply is I have a current, let me call it I1, going through this resistance. So applying KCL, KCL at 1, IS is entering the node, is equal to I1 plus IC at 0 plus. This is what we are interested to find. Then your IC at 0 plus is equal to IS minus I1. But now what is my is your is is basically equal to this current so it is the 15 volt supply minus the voltage at node one the voltage at node one is is the 7.5 because between these two points it's in parallel with the supply but the voltage at one is here is 7.5 volts so 15 minus 7.5 divided by the resistors in between ohm's law which is 5 plus 5 
and this will give me 0.75 amp. I1, on the other hand, the current goes here. Now I know the voltage across the resistance. So your I1 is equal to the 7.5 divided by the 5, and this will give me 1.5 amp. Hence, my IC at 0 plus is equal to the 0.75 minus the 1.5, and this will give me minus 0.75 amp, meaning that the current direction actually is in the reverse direction. Now, I know that this is equal to C, DVC at 0 plus DT. This is what I want. So your DVC at 0 plus divided by DT is equal to 1 over C times IC at 0 plus. C is equal to 0.5 farad, so 1 over 0.5 is 2, so it's 2 times minus 0.75, and this will give me minus 1 point, minus 1 point. Okay, so now we found this and this, we are left with the VC at infinity, so we need to solve the T as T goes to infinity. Now, as T goes to infinity, again, we assume that the switch, is, the capacitor is fully charged. So now this is my circuit, the 5 ohm in series with the 5 ohm, 15 volt, 5. And here it is your open circuit voltage. This is your VC at infinity. Now VC at infinity, is the same voltage across the 5 ohm, which is basically in series with the other 5 and the other 5, and the voltage supplies, they are all in series because, again, your IC at infinity is equal to 0. So your VC, again, will apply voltage division, is equal to the 15 volt times this 5 ohm resistance divided by all the three resistors in series, which is the 5 plus the 5 plus the 5, and this will give me 5 volt. And with this, we are done with the first part in the question. In the second part in the question, it's asked what is your VC of T? And we know VC of T is equal to K1 plus K2E minus T over tau. Now, knowing VC at 0 and VC at infinity, it will help me to find K1 and K2, as we will see in a few minutes. But first, we need to find tau. What is your tau? Is your R thevenin? times C. R thevenin is the resistance seen by the capacitor. Okay, so we need to find this resistance. Now, we, to do that, since we have only independent sources, we will short circuit this. So basically, you will have the 5 ohm, the 5 ohm, and the supply will be a short circuit, and this is another 5 ohm. And we are looking between these two points. So basically, your R thevenin is equal to the 5 ohm, this one, in parallel with the 10 ohm. Parallel with the 10 ohm, the 5 in the series of the 5. So it's 5 times 10 divided by 5 plus 10. And this will give me 3.33 ohm. So your tau is equal to the 3.33 times C, which is 1 half. And this will give me 1.67 second. So now I can basically find K1 and K2 and find the formula. Now we know that K1 is basically equal to the VC at, at uh, infinity, which is basically uh, equal to 5. K1 plus K2 equal to VC at 0, which is equal to 7.5. From this, you can find that your K2 is equal to 2.5. Hence, your VC of T, which is equal to K1 plus K2, E minus T over tau, will equal to 5 plus 2.5 E minus T divided by 1.67 volt. And that is your output voltage.